Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. If this is your first time, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe by hitting the notification bell and make sure you hit the box that says all so that you can be in the know whenever I upload a video that rhymes. Today, I want to talk about something that's very important and I share this a lot with my son since he is of age of understanding, <clears throat> um, teaching kids how to deal with bullying and teasing. And I feel at liberty to discuss this, first of all, because I am, as you know, I am totally blind if you did not know, but nevertheless, on a uh, serious note, I am totally blind and I've never, as far as I can recollect, I've never been bullied, never been teased or anything like, like that, but I have friends who have been teased, uh, family members who have been teased for various reasons. And I feel that uh, I have to do my due diligence because bullying leads to a lot of things such as uh, these mass shootings, I think, that are going on in the U.S. Um, according to uh, something that I found, it says the U.S. country has more guns than people. And that's kind of scary. And with that being said, with the, with the emergence of uh, so, so many guns uh, uh, and mass, mass shootings, uh, some that I can remember, the Columbine, the uh, mass shooting in Texas, Florida, there was a mass shooting, uh, Virginia, and just recently in a place called uh, St. Helena Parish, more specifically Greensburg, there were uh, two individuals, I think, um, that fell victim to gun violence. Now, as mentioned, I, I speak to my uh, son about uh, uh, bullying because I don't want him to be teased. Um, people in schools and various places can find uh, as many reasons as they can to tease an individual. It may be because, uh, as I speak to my son and I tell him the reason why people may be bullied or to tease any, any individual, it could be uh, um, reasons that range from maybe he's the smartest one in the class and the teacher always give him compliments and things like that. Just today he spoke to me and said, uh, Dad, uh, there was an incident that occurred in school and uh, I uh, asked my teacher, uh, was I punished? And she said, no. And she also said, told the class that I wish that a lot of y'all could be like Xavier, that's his name. So I told him, you know, I always give him confidence. I always give him encouragement and, and what have you and, and, and tell him that no matter what to uh, ignore, you know, any type of uh, teasing, because people do that to, um, in most cases to make themselves feel superior. I, I teach them also uh, about conflict re uh, resolution, and I feel that in a perfect world, that you know that does work with with some kids. And when I have to teach them that you don't always have to resort to violence. There's a way there. You can be the bigger person, you know, depending on the situation is, and uh, pull that person to the side. Now he has been, uh, you know teased in most cases and, and we've got on um, got on it real quick to kind of resolve that and I asked him the, ne the next day well how did it work out did you um, did the person tease you did you did he no dad he didn't bully me or she didn't bully me um, the last incident this was a girl and she was hitting on him and whatnot and that could be for various reasons I don't know but in most cases to recognize a bully I try to tell him you know if it's somebody that's that's you know constantly picking on you or um, uh, teasing you about certain things that you do. And most bullies, I, I feel in, in, in most cases, try to make people, as, as, as I mentioned, feel bad about certain things that they do or their appearances and, and, and what have you. And as mentioned, getting back to what I said earlier, I have never been teased because of my visual impairment. And I've always had a mouth on me. I've always had the confidence to where it wouldn't bother me at all. But Teaching your kids in, at, a, at an early age how to resolve conflicts, how to recognize a bully, uh, and it's, which is what I do uh, with my son, as mentioned, you know, if, it's, if he constantly is teasing you, things like that, to sort of, you know, I, I, we do recommend him go to the teacher and uh, let them, he, she know uh, what the situation is so they can nip that in the bud. But, um, 
you know, if it's a situation where there's a constant and the guy or the girl putting uh, their hands on him, then, you know, he knows exactly what to do in the instance. But the main thing that we try to do is, uh, in, or, in order to resolve any conflict, uh, to, to go and tell somebody that's, uh, that's a superior, grown up, things of that nature, because you don't want to try to handle it themselves. And uh, I, I, I also, uh, as I segue, segue into this, that bullying sort of, you know, stems from the home when a person lacks a great deal of confidence and he possesses something or he does something to make him feel better. Say, he may, say, say for instance, he may, which does happen a lot of times, may call to, to, to schools and do um, bomb threats and want just to see his name uh, or to hear about an incident that was that he started kind of would probably make him feel superior, make him feel good. I mean, in in, in, in a lot of cases, I feel that uh, a bully, one who teases, feels very, very, very bad about themselves. And there's, there's something in, in themselves that they, they don't like where they try to divert their attention to uh, other areas so that they can get the attention that they do need and what have you. So, I just wanted to come and just share those instances because uh, with the emergence of te uh, bullying, teasing, and what have you, and, and uh, these young people getting uh, hold of guns, that creates a great deal of, of, of traumatic experiences for the other parties, uh, especially in these schools where people have to try to are trying to learn, and it's disrupted by uh, an individual coming from a home that's in, that's not stable and coming and cre creating havoc and, and, and mayhem. Just recently at Morgan State University, there was just uh, a mass shooting there where uh, eight in individuals were injured. So, you know, start with teaching your kids how to, um, how to resolve problems by talking. Um, and hopefully in, in schools, there's, there's uh, counselors that can pull these students uh, aside and just talk with them, see what the problem is, see why you, why are you doing it? If you can get to the root of the situation and probably curtail it before it becomes a situation where there's a lot of mass shootings uh, going on, or this person creates, uh, you know, some some shootings, maybe not in a, in, in, a, in a school, but in churches and what have you. So if you can curtail that and and, and put in these programs in the school, <clears throat> if, if 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 the parents are not doing it which unfortunately, unfortunately the councils have to intervene, then the, the problem, you know, at least uh, wouldn't, uh, uh, wouldn't exist. So talk to your kids about this bullying situation, man. Teaching your kids about bullying and teasing so they can understand exactly what's going on, how to recognize it, and what they can do in the process. So with that being said, I just want to come on and just share my thoughts about it. My name is Anthony. Third Eye Visions is the platform. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm out.